comedian, actress, writer and fashion designer Margaret Cho is as controversial now as she ever was. My pussy is the hurt locker. She developed her comedic routine in clubs and university campuses in her hometown of San Francisco, which led to her winning American Comedy's Best Female Comedian Award in 1994. I grew up in the 70s around a lot of different influences, both um, sort of rock and roll and from the gay world. Over the past two decades, Cho has publicly tackled eating disorders and addictions, which she uses along with her Korean heritage, being the victim of child sex abuse and of bullying in high school, as themes for her stand-up comedy. Comedy is an empowering art form, shaming people for the things that they shouldn't be doing, like their sexism and racism. All American Girl launched her script writing and television career in the mid-90s, bringing her to the attention of wider audiences before leaving the comedy show after producers criticized her size. You love Stuart's girlfriend more than you love me. In 1997, she starred alongside John Travolta in the FBI drama Face Off, leading her to publicly out the Hairspray star several years later. He is so gay. John Travolta is so gay. Cho has appeared in plenty of television and film roles, including iconic US sitcoms The Nanny and Sex in the City. And you have just so fucking saved my life. She became an active campaigner for marriage equality in the early 2000s. I was deputized as a marriage commissioner in San Francisco. I've officiated a few same-sex marriages. And in 2009, she secured a lead role in the comedy series Drop Dead Diva, which ran for six seasons. It is like a thousand degrees in this office. It's not hot, it's your metabolism. She also featured in a number of LGBT productions, voicing various characters in Logo's animated series Rick and Steve, the happiest gay couple in all the world, and she guest starred in season two of the hit online comedy series Where the Bears Are. One of you takes this. <laughs> She's always been open about her own sexuality and outspoken about gender and sexuality issues. It's a very difficult time to be a feminist and not just be totally enraged always. Subjects that dominate her humour as well as her political and human rights activism. We should always be expressing ourselves, fighting for our rights. Cho's career has been signposted by her iconic stand-up shows from Notorious CHO, Margaret Cho Assassin to her 2012 world tour titled Mother. Don't be upset. And in 2012, she was also nominated for an Emmy after appearing as North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il on NBC comedy 30 Rock. I have so many missiles. I even have nuclear missiles. In 2017, she even appeared on the US version of Dancing with the Stars. When I signed up to do the show, I didn't realize I was going into therapy. Beyond television and film, Chung has also released a series of recorded projects with her album Cho Dependent, securing a Grammy nomination for Best Comedy Album. For those in need of a fairy gay mother, Cho appears alongside Jane Seymour and Malin Ackerman in the 2019 release Friendsgiving. You haven't seen me, where have you been? Well that's all from us for this week. Don't forget to catch our daily bulletins throughout the week of Pink 60 News and join us again next time for more Pink 60 Entertainment.